Hey guys, so um, very often when students are doing the homework, so do, doing the practice, they facing with different errors, with different issues. And top number one issue is you guys open the curly bracket and haven't closed it or closed it two times or three times. And then you get in the different errors like this one reached end of file while, while parsing or you run it you get in class interface enum or record expected or you might have uh, posted some i don't know too many lines and then maybe one of the line will have some random uh, random symbol you're trying to run it until j idea or any other idea you guys use show you some illegal start of a st start of type or reached end of the of file while parsing so this is an, an important important um important uh kind of idea right suggestion or advice always try to look into that error double click on that and it's always going to show you what's going on that's number one right so what you can do you can try to copy uh this uh, whole whole error and then copy that and post it in google and try to find something try to uh, find some uh some solution so for example if i you know type over here java reached end of the file while parsing it shows the java error message that results in closing curly bracket for a block of code so if i open for example this one solved it's gonna show you an example. So if you have this, as you can see, this one is open, this one is open, this one is closed, and I don't see the second curly bracket closed for this body, the body of the class, right? So it shows one error. And you know, that's the fix. You just add in that curly bracket to close the body of the class, that's it. And you'll find more examples. For example, you close the body of the class, but didn't close the body for the method also is is the error or you have um the class open curly bracket class close curly bracket method open curly bracket method close curly bracket if open curly bracket but you don't see that you don't have the closed curly bracket for this if so all these blocks where you have open curly bracket you need to understand that at some point you need to close it or you're gonna be able, you're gonna have to you know deal with that errors and all the blocks like while do while for loop switch case if else um need to be inside of the curly bracket um open and closed curly bracket right calls the body whatever you have in the curly bracket calls body of the class or body of the let me show you in the correct body of the class so this is this is the body of the class right and this one is the body of the method whenever wherever you have inside of if it's a body of if statement or the body of while loop or the body of a for loop so try to avoid this error uh, it shows a suggestion that in the Eclipse or NetBeans uh, ID, you can try to do the Alt Shift F. Um, again, for the IntelliJ, it's probably a different combination, but you know it always shows you. So, for example, you rename, you remove it, you try to run it, right? Now it shows a different, um, different. You see it. it right right away jumps to the error jumps to the to the issue so let me try to add that curly bracket on the next line okay perfect do i need this empty lines here no i don't need it i will remove it so everything is perfect closed on the line 15 the the class closed on line 15 the method is closed on the line 14 at the same level as it started so the method started here the method closed here the same level you see not over here not over here not the same level as the class it's better to be on the same level as wherever you started 
similar to the class. So the, for the class, I don't like when people and the students are doing like this, or when you have some something like this, or I don't know, like this. It should be on the same level with the with the class. So if it's there is no no um, no spaces, no tabs for for this public class main or whatever name you have, um, it should be no spaces or tabs for closing tag. So keep that in mind as well as the semicolon at the end of the statement line inside of the method. It always should be the semicolon in Java. If you don't have it, you're trying to run that that you know coding that the program. It shows Java semicolon expected. So you need to add it and it's gonna fix the problem. So try to Google it as well. So you can always try to Google like a Java um, idea and then copy this error Java expected and you will see examples of similar code. That's where you can uh, learn a little more. Thank you.